Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, December 15th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 626 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. In today's episode, Simon Gong and Elaine Chung's Rising with the Wind Passes Review. Bai Lu's rep Yu Zheng shares a long message on Weibo about billing position. Dylan Wang's manager responds with some phlegm. Wild Bloom's cast say their farewells. And according to Jenny Zheng, Arthur Chen and Zhang Jingyi's personalities are quite different from their appearances. But first, here is what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and yesterday. First, there's The Legend of Young Justice Bao, a costume drama starring Jing Shikang and He Yu. It premiered yesterday, December 14th. As I explained in my last episode, Justice Bao is honored as a symbol of justice in Chinese society today. This is because during the Song Dynasty, he defended peasants and commoners against injustice. This drama follows him during his younger years when he was still known as Bao Cheng. In the drama, Jing Shikang plays Bao Cheng. Here he is depicted as he has been in dramas and movies throughout the years, with tanned complexion and a crescent moon on his forehead. According to Baidu, Bao Cheng comes across various mysterious cases such as Blood Soul Forest, Spirit Town, and Valley of Wrath on his way to the capital for his exams. The Legend of Young Justice Bao is slated for 28 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Then there's Song of the Moon starring Vin Zhang and Xu Lu. The costume drama premiered earlier today. The drama follows a wealthy heiress played by Xu Lu, who gets embroiled in a battle between immortals and demons, and in the process gets romantically involved with a mysterious cloaked immortal played by Vin Zhang. Song of the Moon is slated for 40 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. And that's it for recently premiered dramas. Next up, dramas that recently announced their premiere dates. Sisterhood is a family drama starring Yang Xiaoyue, Ada Liu, and Fan Ming. Yesterday, they announced the premiere date of December 16th. Things happened very quickly for Sisterhood. They started filming in August, and now, just four months later, are already announcing a premiere date. The drama is slated for 24 episodes. According to Baidu, the drama follows a new university graduate played by Yang Xiaoyue and her older sister played by Ada Liu. The two sisters constantly bicker as the older insists on sticking her nose into the younger's business. Meanwhile, their father, played by Fan Ming, who has lived his entire life for his two daughters, starts lamenting that the older they get, the less they need him. Sisterhood is an adaptation of a sitcom that was part of a variety show competition. Although the sitcom did not win, it was popular enough that they decided to do this drama adaptation. Not sure if the drama will be available to international audiences though. At the moment, it looks like it'll just be on Chinese TV. I will update again if any international platforms pick it up. Another drama that recently announced its premiere date is Accidentally Meow on You, a modern rom-com starring Xin Zhaoling and Hu Bingqing. Yesterday, they announced a December 20th premiere. It's been over a year since Xin Zhaoling's last drama aired. That was The Unknown, Legend of Exorcist, Zhong Kui. Hu Bingqing's last drama to air, on the other hand, was this year's Operation Special Warfare with Vengo Gao. Accidentally, Miao and Yu follows an entertainment industry assistant played by Hu Bingqing, who bonds with a stone-faced CEO played by Xin Zhaoling because of their common love of cats. While we're on Xin Zhaoling, the 25-year-old actor recently announced that he came down with COVID. In his Weibo message, he gave people some reference notes saying, Drink lots of water. It is more serious than the flu and is very uncomfortable. Protect yourself well daily, but there is no need to panic. And that's it for dramas with premiere dates. Moving on, dramas that recently passed review. I have two to update on. Beginning with Rising with the Wind, a modern drama starring Simon Gong and Elaine Chung. The cast look quite the fashionable bunch here, and that's no coincidence as the drama is set in the fashion world. Rising with the Wind passed review and obtained a distribution license for 40 episodes on December 13th. Simon Kong did not have a drama air all year. His last was last year's Dream Garden with Bridget Chow. 
Elaine Zheng, on the other hand, had a couple of dramas air this year. Her latest was Lost in the Kunlun Mountains with Xu Kai. According to Baidu, Rising with the Wind follows a clothing company heiress played by Elaine Zheng, who loses her father and faces the possibility of losing her father's company as well. She meets a crude investor played by Simon Gong, and he comes up with a plan to rescue her. Also passing review is Summer Flower, a modern drama starring Jerry Yen and Xu Rohan. It obtained an online record number on December 13th as well. Jerry Yan hasn't had a drama air in two years. His last was 2020's Count Your Lucky Stars with Shen Yue. Xu Rohan, on the other hand, starred in a drama this summer, Out with a Bang. According to Baidu, Summer Flower follows the ill-fated romance between Xu Rohan's character, an 18-year-old girl, and Jerry Yan's, a down-and-out uncle with a magnetic voice. That's it for dramas that recently passed review. Moving on, a couple of news items pertaining to Only for Love, the modern drama starring Bai Lu and Dylan Wang. According to a Cine Entertainment story published yesterday, some fans were unhappy at the way the drama's crew members treated them. Recently, a netizen shared a video showing some of Only for Love's crew members shining a bright light directly at them and their camera. The message that came along with the video read, really don't understand why the crew has to treat us fans like this. The cast were already off work and wearing regular clothes, so there was no risk of photo leaks. Everyone was standing orderly to one side, no pushing or shoving. But still, they just didn't want us to use our phones. Without a second thought, they just shone a strong light at us. My eyes are still uncomfortable until now. Please, when hiring crew members in the future, get humane and courteous ones. The drama hasn't yet responded to the matter. The other story that pertains to Only for Love has to do with the actor's reps. Bai Lu is repped by Yu Cheng's company, Huan Yu Entertainment, and it all began when Yu Cheng took to Weibo with this long post in which he spoke about billing position, among other things. Billing position is most laughable. I've never cared, he began. I don't know what top billing represents. Why do so many people care? I laugh at those who stress upon top billing issues with me. I think these people are so low, because the real top billed actor doesn't need to be stressed upon. For those who don't know, billing position means the order in which the actors' names appear in the credits, in the promo materials, and so on. Generally speaking, it's the actor with the most scenes in the show, and the most important scenes, so to speak. Things heated up in the comments section when Yu Cheng got into it with netizens. One netizen asked if Only for Love was a Tan Yu Chu drama, which means everything centers around the female lead. Another questioned, wasn't Bai Lu fighting for top billing in Only for Love as well? Yu Cheng replied, are you stupid or something? When they approached us, they offered us top billing and offered to look for a male lead according to our requirements. Not fighting for a billing position doesn't mean we're giving it away. What are we, a charity? On the same day, Dylan's manager, Wang Ti King, shared a simple message on Weibo saying, Too much phlegm, feel like spitting, along with a picture of what looks like, well, phlegm. Netizens speculate that it's in response to Yu Cheng's comments. Things may not be completely smooth between fans and reps of the stars of Only for Love, but hopefully that doesn't carry over to the actors themselves, who still have to put in performances on set and have to create that chemistry between each other. And that's it for drama updates, moving on to celebrity updates, and today we begin with the cast of Wild Bloom. Wild Bloom premiered on November 27th and aired the last of its 36 episodes on December 14th. On the day of the drama's finale, its star Zhao Liying took to Weibo with the message, sharing this journey with Xu Banxia, her character. We each had our ups and downs and splendor. She also shared a short clip of herself as Xu Banxia. Male lead Oh Hao also took to Weibo with a batch of photos taken on the drama set. His message was, Goodbye everyone, if you have time, come down to the Ba Wang Hua fleet and look for Mr. Tong for tea. Li Guangjie wished for everyone's wishes to become a rich middle-aged woman to come true. Context being, Xu Banxia's wish was to become a rich middle-aged woman. 
So I'm on episode 20 of Wild Bloom, still enjoying it, but I gotta say that after a great start, some questionable plot direction and character decisions have popped up, and it's kind of taken a bit of that shine off the drama, but I'll get into those in a different segment. Still enjoying the acting thoroughly, these actors just seem so seasoned in their art, it's a real joy to watch. Next up for celebrity updates, Arthur Chen and Zhang Jingyi, the stars of the recently aired Light Red Princess. In my last episode, I did a final thoughts segment on Lighter and Princess and recommended the drama. I felt both actors gave solid performances and had great chemistry together. That chemistry must have built gradually, as according to Jenny Cheng who plays Rin Ti in the drama, the two didn't speak to each other the first time they met for Lighter and Princess. In a recent interview with Yuku, Jenny revealed that on the first day of the drama, when the cast members gathered for a table read, Arthur Chen and Zhang Jingyi did not say a word to each other despite being sat next to each other. Quote, Arthur Chen just kept playing with his lighter, end quote. Jenny continued, they're both the type whose outer appearance is completely different from their inner personality. For example, Arthur gives people the impression that he's a good-looking guy who's too cool for school, but he's actually a pretty talkative dude and constantly cracks these really cold jokes. Jenny added that Zhang Jingyi was the same, saying that even though she looks very ladylike, when she plays video games, she plays one of the wildest characters. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was New Life Begins with Bai Jingting and Tian Xiwei. And the top TV drama was Wild Bloom with Zhao Liying and Oh Hao. I had a look at some of the charts V-Linkage provided over the past few days, and there are quite a few new titles. There is going to be quite a shuffle this week, but at the top, I think it's going to stay relatively similar. I'm backing She and Her Perfect Husband to be the new top web drama, and Wild Bloom to stay the top TV drama this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!